Oh, it's time for another math. Easy solution. Time to discuss further into applications of integrals and now go over an, another example, this time example four on the arc length video series and basically solve this example which states find the arc length function. Again, fu uh, make sure to watch my early video which I will cover arc length as a function in my last video. Also in the video link below as you can find that. Basically for the following function here, y equals x squared minus one eighth ln of x. Yeah, by taking the point p zero one of one as the starting point. So what I mean by this, if we were to graph all of this, I oh, was doing x y curve. If this is the x, this is the y. So if you were to graph this function, it looks something like well, it looks like and when you put put in zero right here, it goes to negative infinity, but then there's a minus becomes a plus. So it goes something up like that. And then it goes curves back out because you have this x squared parabola like uh, function. Yeah, so the curve looks something like this. I'm not going to go over too in depth how do you get this curve, but the general shape is like this. So this is y equals x squared ln one eight minus one eighth ln x, and we're taking the starting point at uh, this point at x equals to one, and it's point one one. So this is right here p zero, and again p zero if we have uh, let's plug in uh, y equals to one squared minus one eighth ln x. I mean ln one. This just goes to zero, so we just get one squared is one is equals to one. So the point is at x equals to one, y equals to one. So that's this point. And if you draw this, this is exactly so one like this. And now what we're trying to do, trying to find out is basically find the general function for the length of the curve up to well any any value x right here so any so any length right across there so that's up to this point so if we have this then this length the curve from this starting point this is going to be our length of the curve function or arc length function we'll call it s of x so now if we recall the arc length formula as a function, which I went over my last video and earlier videos on the arc length formula. So recall the arc length formula as a function. So if we're writing this as a general function of x, then what we have is s of x, that's gonna be our arc length function, that's this one over here. This equals two in our case, the integral from one, so from one to x of square root one plus, and then it's the derivative of that function that we are finding the uh, that we're finding the length of the curve of. And this one we'll just use a variable t in here just so we don't have x twice and then squared. And again, like I explained in my last video, it doesn't matter what variable you use. This is just for the variable of integration. So we have this. So what this means is we need to find a derivative. So if we let f of x equals to the function uh, y, y equals x squared minus 1 8 ln x. So this is x squared minus 1 8 ln x. We need to find a derivative. So the derivative is going to be equal to, well, this is the derivative of x squared is 2x minus 1 8 and then derivative of ln of x is just uh, 1 over x right here. So then this just equals to 2x minus 1 8 of x. So before I just plug this all in there, I'm just going to try to simplify this as much as I can. So let's get the next variable of it, which is, um, which is f prime of x uh, squared. Actually, I'll add the one here. So one plus f prime of x squared, just so it's easier to try to simplify this, and then we'll square root it all after. This equals two, well, one plus, and then you're gonna have to square this whole thing. So two x minus one eighth uh, x, like this squared. So we multiply this uh, out, just expand it. You can see more on expanding in my earlier videos. Uh, so what we'll have is one plus, and then this is going to be four x is multiplied by itself, four x squared, and then we uh, multiply by this, and then this multiplied by this. So we're just adding two times, and then we have a two uh, x times it by well eight x, one over eight x. 
And then last one, we just go one over eight X times it by itself. So we have plus one over 64 X squared. And again, here, all I did was we'll just foil it using the foil method. You can see my earlier video on that. So we just foil it, we got this. This simplifies further into one plus four X squared. This becomes four divided by eight and the X's cancel. So that's just be one half plus one over 64 X squared. And then this equals to, well, one minus one half is just is positive one half. So we'll, if we write it like this, four X squared minus one half plus one over 64 X squared. And now what we're gonna do is actually work backwards to simplify this again using that FOIL method. So if we recall FOIL method, so if we have, an, in our case, just go, just go a plus b squared. Again, when you were to expand this out, this just equals two. Well, a plus b, again, I'm just gonna go this a bit more, a bit slowly more detail. So FOIL method, multiply this by this, same thing we, we just did, and then multiply this by this, and then this by this, and then this by this, and all add it all up, we eventually get a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So in our case, we're gonna work backwards. So backwards. So in our case, we have a squared. So if a squared equals to this one right here, 4x squared, then this means that, well, a is equal to We'll just square it. This is going to be a is equal to 2x, right? Like that. And if b squared is equal to this part right here, 1 over 64x squared. If you square this, b is equal to 1 over 8x. So what this means is a times b is going to be equal to 2x times it by 1 over 8x. And also actually if we were to do two AB, so forget the two, so put the two in here, times by two, this equals two, four over eight, the X is cancel, so four over eight, and then this equals to one half. So this is exactly this. So we could just throw this all in there. So what this means is now this just equals two, simply, um, this is going to be a plus b squared. So a is equal to 2x and then b is equal to 1 over 8x. So we have this plus 1 over 8x and then squared. So this is just to simplify it further. So that's what it equals to when we work backwards from the FOIL method, 2x uh, plus 1 over 8x squared. And then lastly, we just have to square it all because we have this square root there. I'm mean, gonna yeah, square root and not squared. Uh, so what we have is this uh, square root one plus f prime of x squared. This equals two. Uh, well, this just cancels. The squares just cancel. I'll just I'll keep it in there. Two x plus one over eight x squared. This just equals to two x. Now just take the bracket out. Two x plus one over eight X. So that's what it equals to. So thus what we have is our arc length function. So, and so what we have, I'll just go thus S of X is equal to, well, we know that's just one X. Let's put the formula down one plus F prime of T uh, squared DT. And then this equals to, well, this is all this part now. Just throw that in there, so one over x, and then we're gonna change the variable just for integration. So two t plus one over eight t, and then we have this dt. Let's write this a bit better. And now if we integrate this, this becomes, well, we're gonna evaluate this, put this bracket. This is gonna be t squared over two. So there's a two over two. This These just cancel and then plus one over uh, one over eight, and then the integral of one over t, well, we, is just opposite of the derivative of ln of x. So that's just gonna be ln of t. 
it's actually uh, absolute value lot of t but in our case well we have is x is always going to be greater than zero because it's not defined for anything else so and it's just going increasing like that so we just make it regular t so ln of t is equal to yeah the integral of one over t and now we're evaluating it from one over x one to x plug these in this we get now this is just going to be the twos cancels so we'll put the x inside we have x squared plus 1 over 8 ln of x and then minus when we put the ones inside 1 squared well 1 squared is just 1 plus 1 over 8 ln of 1 and this one like I showed my lawn natural log videos and this is just equal to 0 and I also as above so what we finally have is s of x is equal to x squared plus 1 over 8 ln of x and then minus 1 right here so that's the integral I and mean, that's the length of the curve as a function and now uh, basically what this means is we could solve the length of the curve at from from the point p0 is 1 uh, 1 1 all the way to any point we want so for example the length of the curve yeah, length, length of the curve from the point 1, 1 to the point 3 and f of 3, just plug that into the above one, is, and then we just use this function. So s of 3 equals 2, then this is going to be 3 squared plus 1 over 8 ln x minus 1. I mean, this is ln 3. And this equals to, well, 9 minus 1 is 8 plus ln 3 over 8. And then if you plug this into the calculator, which I did right here, we get basically uh, 8.1373, so it's 8 plus ln 3. And then we, we get, as yeah, again, so 8.17, actually 1373. So roughly, this is roughly the length of the curve up to, um, up, up to the point x equals 3. And the y is equal to f of 3. And now if we were to graph this function, what we actually get is something that looks like this. Let's go x, y curve, x, y. I'll just keep putting this down. So this is at the point 1. And here what we have is the, fu the function actually looks something like this. I'm not going to explain too much on it. So it just goes up. So it in increases, obviously, like this thing. Then as you move to the left side, again, there's there's an asymptote line at x equals 0 because ln goes to negative infinity. Uh, but then actually this function goes to, well, positive infinity. Let's go back here. So this is going up really, really high really quickly. And and there is a kind of a drop off like this. So what the function actually looks something like this. So at the point, uh, so at the point 1, uh, x equals 1, the length is 0 because that's where we're starting from. And it goes something like this, actually and just goes down and down. And this is our function uh, s of x equals 2 x squared plus uh, 1 8 ln of x and then minus 1. And as you can see here, from the right side it's positive, but then from the left of this one we have negative values and this is well, uh, so negatives, yes, yeah, so all right over here. So, so what we have here is negative, uh, yeah, negative values because, and the reason is because this is measured positive going uh, towards positive x value. And here I just wrote it down. So basically, negative values on this left of the x equals one because the function uh, s of x with the arc length function measures arc length in the, in the positive x direction from the point p of 0 is uh, at 1 1 and, and you can see that above here when you scroll up so this is positive and then so that's defined as positive and then, all, then the left of it is going to be well negative values of the length of the curve Anyways, that is all for today. Hopefully you learned from this pretty extensive example on how to use, um, you know, how to determine the arc length as a function for a curve and some pretty interesting notes on it. Anyways, that's all for today. If you learned, like always, you can download these exact notes in the link below. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for another math easy solution.